Hello everyone and welcome to another live from the workshop and today we're going to be doing some more Cybermen customs. We are going to be doing two real-time Cybermen from the uh, webcast of the same name. So here we have the two bodies. Um, the heads are currently not here because I am currently uh, making a uh, head peg so I'm having to leave them to one side to dry off. But essentially what we have here are the uh, cyber uh, controller and a normal Cyberman. Uh, now, obviously, quite a lot has been done here extensively in terms of the uh, sculpting, the reasons for which I will go into now. There's also a couple of other little details on these that I do just want to cover as well. So, overall, the base figure is a uh, silence figure because it had the same sort of, it had the right kind of scale. Um, because these Cybermen are quite tall, much taller than most other Cybermen. Um, but even so, I've had to shorten down the legs slightly, on, uh, as you can see here. And obviously I've removed the jacket as well, uh, and I've also shaved off the tie under here, which you can't see. But I've done all of that. Um, and then obviously over the top you can see all the sculpting I've done. Um, but then these gray, this, these gray bits and also the head sculpts are actually from uh, NDW Design. Nathan David Ward uh, was selling them as f uh, at the time of recording this. Um, and possibly by the time you see it, I'm not sure if he is still selling them. I will have a link to his uh, a link to his. Um, uh, Instagram where he does his uh, sales and things like that and other links uh, in the description so please go and check those out um, but those are what I've uh, used you know uh, that's where the collars and the heads have come from um, so I can't uh, I can't take credit for those but they are absolutely wonderful uh, designs especially the heads you know you'll see those in a bit when I get to, to get to doing them more but obviously in terms of the overall design like I said I've sculpted on a lot um, but I've decided as well to take a bit of artistic license with these um, because firstly obviously they're in the webcast and we have sort of you know stills pictures of them from the webcast but as well as the pictures there were also some renders done and my sculpting work is sort of made to reflect uh, a sort of combination of the different um, versions of these Cybermen as such. So there's elements of the CGs, there's elements of the, you know, the actual uh, webcast, um, you know, pictures and, and things like that. But the other thing that I'm going to do um, in terms of colours is rather than painting them a standard silver, I'm going to go for a bit of a, um, a combination of uh, colours as well. So all of the uh, black and the torso, basically all of the base silence figure, I'm going to paint in a sort of l uh, dark silver slash light gunmetal grey. Then all of the yellow uh, actually sculpted on, I'm going to paint the normal standard silver. But what I'm going to try to do, and I say try because I don't know if this is going to work until I try to do it, is I've still got some of my uh, mirror mirrorist mirror paint left over which I previously used on my um, uh, Silver Nemesis Cyberman. And so what I'm going to try to do, hopefully it will take to the uh, the resin print, uh, 3D print of the heads and the shoulders, and also onto the Miller part. But then the shoulders and the uh, shoulder piece and the heads, I'm going to do in that mirror paint to try and make them stand out a bit more. As I said, don't know if that's going to work, so we will wait and see. But first of all, let's get on to painting the overall under dark base.
So, as they come round, here we have the finished real-time Cybermen. So, I cannot remember if I said this at the start of the video, but I'm going to give you another quick figure breakdown. I think I've already done this, but I know a lot of people skip to the end. So, overall, it is a silence figure, but the head, uh, most of the uh, shoulder pieces, or at least the top parts of the shoulder pieces on these, are made, uh, were designed by um, Hell No Sousa and printed by Nathan David Ward on Instagram. Please go and check them out, they do some absolutely amazing work. But I'm really pleased with my um, with my paintwork on these. The uh, the only bit that hasn't come out quite as well as I expected is the lower part, the bit that I had to sculpt myself, typically. <laughs> of the um, of the uh, shoulder pieces because I've had to sculpt them and obviously they are a much different consistency to the rest of the shoulder pieces but overall they've come out pretty well you know I, I don't think it stands out all that much difference um, but obviously as I said before you know I've taken a bit of uh, artistic liberty with these in terms of in terms of the uh, design of the bodies and things like that but they've come out very very well I'm very pleased with them obviously these Cybermen are much taller in comparison to um, other Cybermen. You know, if I just bring in to hold here, because I don't want to put it on the plinth to, for the sake of knocking it over, but if I bring in here, you know, a uh, standard Cyber Cyberman, you can see how much taller they are. That's basically in line with them now. It's in line with the leader as it comes around. So you can see that they are you know, much taller, but I really do love the the uh, design of these, you know, and, and the, the work on the head sculpts has been absolutely superb, you know, it, it has come out so, so well, and I love, I love the way that the mirrorist mirror paint has just made the tops of them that little bit more shiny, I'm really glad that that did take to the resin, I was slightly worried that that wouldn't work, but I'm certainly glad it has, it does look, they do look absolutely fantastic, and you know, in terms of getting the height right, even though I've had to shorten them slightly using the um, the silent figures as a base, certainly still does does work um, very well and makes it look very good, I think. But that brings to a close another Live from the Workshop. As always, I hope you all enjoy this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot. And be sure to check out the description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm doing my very first figure animation and you can get involved. There is exclusive content and rewards for those who do so and funding my Patreon in any way gets your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all, and I will see you with another video very soon.